Welcome aboard again. It's Saturday. I don't have the material I need to do to proceed on the projects of getting the boomkin and bowsprit back on, so I'm doing little odd jobs. I uh, took the S-curve pieces of the cap rail and I drilled out all of the holes all the way through and filled them with epoxy. Not for sealing purposes, but for strength purposes, so that when I put the screws back in, it won't split the wood, regardless of whether I have a bedding compound underneath it or not. I've also put some penetrating epoxy on the rudder cheeks, then they're looking quite good. I'm still debating whether or not I should dye the, the cap that goes over the top. So I applied a coat of penetrating epoxy to the rudder cheeks, I put it over the dye. I still don't know whether I'm going to dye the cap or not, because I kind of like the look of wood. Come have a look. See, it's all nice and shiny. And the end bits I put on to support the, the cap. And this is the cap. It's still wet, of course, but um, at first I thought I was going to dye it the same color as the rudder cheeks. But now I'm not sure. If you have an opinion, feel free to let me know. Put a comment down below. And uh, let me know what you think. Pro or con? Yes or no? See, that's the top. That's the face that you'll see when uh, the boat's in the water. And I like that. I like the grain. I like the color. But that's one coat of penetrating epoxy done. And I put some fiberglass mat on the bulkhead, like I said I was going to do. I won't bore you with the details of that. It's just fiberglass and it's just a bulkhead. And then I started cleaning up. I decided to, it's time now that I've got the new rudder cheeks basically ready to install, to throw the old rudder cheeks out, which I've just done. And then I hauled out the old boomkin rails. And I thought to myself, I wonder how badly rotted they really are. So I put them on the, the saw and chopped them up. And I was really surprised. This is the the end where the stainless steel fitting goes. And this would be where the, this part here is where the uh, push pit sits. So you can see there's a little bit of discoloring where some water has gotten in, but it's really not bad. And it's, it's not that rotten. Like I can't, I can't uh, make a, a mark on that. So I was looking at the density of this wood. It's, old, old, like 40 year old Douglas fir. Look at the grain on that. Beautiful wood. I don't make it like that anymore. Check that out. 40 years ago, you could still get wood that was beautiful like that. Nowadays it's hard and if you can find it, you pay a premium. So this is uh, the other side where the push pit platform is sitting and that is rotten. You can see where the uh, bolt went through and water has leaked down inside and rotted a bit. It's not bad. It's not all the way through. It certainly wouldn't have compromised, at least I don't think, the integrity of the bonekin. And uh, that certainly is a solid piece of wood. But I'm going to check it out because I don't think anybody's going to use that. The... Uh, unfortunate holes <clears throat> where the fittings were there will be a little bit of rot like that through it so we'll call that garbage but i thought i'd show you just because i think it's cool this is the this is the piece that used to sit on the deck that's the uh, spacer we can set like that and for some reason um somebody had put like a quarter inch spacer and that is not Douglas fir and it did rot and the rot transferred from from that little piece into the wood and you can see looks kind of ugly so all in all I'm glad I replaced the boomkin but uh, for 40 years worth in a marine environment that's pretty impressive here's the other piece This is the piece of wood that I took off of the anchor chain bulkhead. 
and uh, you can see just exactly how rotten it had become and why I had to cut that chunk out of the bulkhead as well as epoxy and fiberglass everything inside is just it's just a mess so I'm going to replace this the problem that I am faced with at the moment is this I am not much of a word worker and I have to figure out how to cut those angles I've got a real arm saw and I've got a table saw and a band saw uh, in between the three of those I think I should be able to do it but I tried once already and uh, didn't have much success I ended up with this and it's way too small it just split it wouldn't hold anything so back to the drawing board on that one then i had uh, this one which a little bit closer but that end is nice and fat that end is not so <clears throat> you can see the uh i can't remember which saw it was maybe it was the table saw and i failed to push it through straight and it cut on an angle and back to the drawing board on that one so I'm about to attempt to do it again wish me luck productive time of it. I managed to shape the anchor chain bulkhead piece. I've epoxied up the epoxied up the S curve peak pieces. They're still epoxy still a little bit tacky, so I'll have to wait for another day. I put a another coat of uh, epoxy on the boomkin where I'd sanded it and it needed it. I was going to try and mount the brackets for the Bellsprit platform, but that will wait for another day. That's probably going to take a fair bit of time. And I put some penetrating epoxy on the rudder cheeks. I've decided, actually the dread part admiral decided that I should probably dye the little cap that goes on top. And I kind of agree. It, uh, it, I like the look of wood, but it would look out of place having a, a natural piece of wood sitting on top of a dyed piece of wood. And so I'm going to go home and enjoy the evening. And maybe I'll come back tomorrow and do some more work. As always, fair winds, following seeds, and God bless. I feel like a banana.